Welcome back to Rise Up tonight. We are joined now by Pastor Troy, producer, rapper, um, yeah. obviously a big Falcon fan. How excited yeah. are you for this season? And uh, who are some of your favorite uh, guys on the roster right now you're going to be watching this year? Man, I'm very excited, man. Just to get back in there with the fans and everything, man. I, I'm talking about, man, I didn't know I missed, was going to miss it so much. But definitely looking forward to this season, man. The addition of uh, Davis, you know, uh, of course, my guy, Ridley. Manny Ice, man, it's just going to be a good season. I'm looking forward to the boy putting it together and going in. Coach no, Smith, too, man. I like the coach, man. I really like the coach. Hey, I'm glad you said that, man. Coach Smith is a solid dude. Now, I got to, for you, I got some questions for you now, man. You know, you're my guy. You, you my boy now. Let's go. Yeah, I, I need you to tell the people, man, when did you fall in love with the Falcons and who is your favorite Falcon all time? Man, you know what? It has to go with Deion Sanders, man. Me and Prime always laugh because of, I was in probably about the fourth grade, man, and my uh, current event was that the Atlanta Falcons drafted Deion Sanders out of Florida State and everything, man. I had the picture of him coming through the airport with his chains on. That was it for me, man. Come on, bro. Then it was right there doing like the rap phase. So it just made it so cool, man, for him to come to Atlanta. It changed the game and the culture. Tell everybody how you came up with the uh, Pastor Troy name. The Pastor Troy thing, man, uh, I definitely didn't come up with it. Uh, my dad is a pastor, man. My dad is a pastor. And that was our big thing growing up. I love the rap music, but a lot of it wasn't appropriate for my age. So the whole Pastor Troy thing was something I came up with while I was in college. Another dude came up to me and man was like, uh, I was rapping and the dude said, Pastor Troy. I was like, man, why you call me that? He was like, man, it sounds like you're a preacher when you rap. I said, man, that's a tight name. I got to ask my dad, can I use it? <laughs> That's dope, man. Now, That's real. Check this out. We got to go down memory lane, okay? Because I remember you. I was a jit. I was a little jitterbug back in the day. 1999, yes. when your first album came out, We Ready, I Declare War, right? Yep. I was at Adamsville Gym, the old Adamsville Gym, with my yeah. CD player, PT, my earphones. But every <laughs> song on that album, man, was that fire. Yeah. Now, I want to know, I want to ask you, man, what was your mindset as you was working on that debut album because you even mm -hmm. talents Master P on that thing, too, now. I yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, man, you know what? That first album, man, it meant so much to me, man. But it was a beautiful thing because it wasn't any uh, red tape or anything. Everything was so free. It was my first one. I didn't have any fans. So I was really just free to just say what I wanted to, whatever I felt. You know what I mean? And it was a dope thing, man. I wish I could get back to that zone to be able to be that free to just let it all out, you know what I mean? But it's dope, man. I love my maturity in the game, man. I've been doing this for 23 years now, man. So I love it. Now, music is big in my life, right? And yeah. when I think about music, I think about songs that, that meant a lot to me, songs that had meaning, songs yeah. that could change people's lives. Yeah. A song, vice versa. Yeah. Vice versa. Man, yeah. what message was you trying to get through to the people when you dropped Man, vice with that versa? vice versa joint, man, I wanted people to just really open up their mind and go a little bit deeper than just settling for what anybody just tells you. You know what I mean? Because it gets a lot deeper than that, man. Everybody don't always tell the truth. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean, man? So that vice versa, man, it was more so of a reality for me, man. I was in college and just a lot of the things that I was seeing wasn't necessarily what people were doing even or what they were trying to profess to be. I was seeing other things, man. So vice versa was just a good time for me to say, what if left was right? What if right was left? What was up was down. What if down was up? Yeah. What's, what's something in your career that you're most proud of as a performer? Uh, being a part of what we're doing with the Atlanta Falcons this, uh, this year, man, with the Dirty Birds Nest, man. It's always been a dream of mine to get into marketing for uh, a major team, especially a team here in Atlanta, man. I've always had affiliation with the Georgia Bulldogs and just the other team in the city, but to be embraced, how they're embracing us this season, I'm really excited about it. Section 134, baby, it's going down every home game. Y'all better watch out for us. That's right. That's the Dirty Bird's Nest, baby. The Dirty Bird's <laughs> Nest, baby. <laughs> now, PT. Yeah. BSGB, man. A lot of people don't know what it stands for, but people here in Georgia know what it means. Down South yeah. Georgia, boy. If it yeah. was one person repping being uh -huh. a Down South Georgia, boy, when he was at Louisville, it's this, it's this young man right here. I'm sure, baby. I'm sure. Let everybody know, what does a down South Georgia boy mean in, in, in the eyes of Pastor Troy? Man, a down South Georgia boy, to me, man, is just a brother that understands 
where we from down here, man. You know what I mean? It just ain't a brother from Atlanta. We got a whole beautiful state down here, man. Brothers that represent just that Southern hospitality, how we do it down here, man. You know what I mean? Just representing, letting them know we Georgia boys and we ready for whatever, man. You know what I mean? People had to put some respect on Georgia. You know say, what I mean, man? Uh, say, that, say that one more time for the people oh, now. Oh, man, they had to put some what? respect on it. They had to put some respect on that Georgia, man. I'm telling you, when I was up there at school, if I made them put respect on GA. Yeah. I I if they didn't want to, I made yeah. respect on G. And man, and that's what let's down south Georgia boys do anywhere that we go, man. So it was a beautiful thing, man, to see everybody representing, man. Felt a part of it, man. It's nothing for me to step out. Man, I see white girls and stuff with DSGG tattoos. It's nothing for me to see a down south Georgia girl, a down south Georgia boy tattoo anywhere across the state. Now, Pastor Troy, we know that you are referenced in two Kanye West songs. Obviously, he's kind of taken up residency in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. <laughs> How well do you know him? Do you know if he's still there? And when is he releasing Donda? <laughs> man, you know what? I met Kanye probably about on two or three occasions, man. I was able to uh, thank him for throwing me up in the album, man. Those were big records he included me in. But I haven't got a chance to catch up with him at the stadium yet, man. But I appreciate him coming down here. To Atlanta and making his presence known because everybody knows across the world, man, all attendance is on the bins right now. And when Kanye, what he got going on? Don't know if we're gonna have a release date anytime soon, but it's been cool all the all the hype around the stadium. Hey, we're all waiting. I don't know if he's still there, but we're all we're all still just waiting for that album to drop. Um, he is. <laughs> speaking of uh, things dropping, what do you have coming up next? Man, dog, so I have a new album on PastorTroy.com. It's called PT Cruiser. Everybody can go out there and check it out. We really just been gearing everything up for the season, man. Ready to get back out here and just hug on some Falcon fans, man. Dap them up. Everybody be safe. Wear your mask and do all that stuff they have in place for protocol. But we're going to have some fun, man, starting September 11th. Well, oh, well, we're, well, the 12th. Well, we're the 12th. We're the 12th. Look, PT, one last thing, man, because I, I always talk, I like to talk about songs that they are very influ influential. Um, yeah. Boys the Men, that song right yeah. there? Yeah. Man. That's that dope, right there? man. Dog, Harry, you went deep. You went deep. You see, I'm looking at you, right? Boys the Men, that right there? Yeah. Yeah. That's one right there. Man, man. man you know what? I'm, I was blessed to come into the music game where content and substance really meant something. You know what I mean? Yeah. From growing up, I'm, I came out in 1998. That was right after the unfortunate death of Tupac and Biggie. So it was really a big void in the game, but I was luckily able to learn from that side where they yeah. took it so serious, man, what the real lyricists were, you know what right. I mean? So I'm glad that I was able to tell those kind of stories, man, take my pen and make brothers like yourself feel where I'm coming from, man. It's a beautiful thing. Respect. Salute, brother. Really good stuff. Thank you so much for joining us in the nest. Obviously, we're All really right. excited to see what the Falcons do out there and uh, excited yeah. to see more from you this season as well. Um, you guys can catch this full conversation on fox5atlanta.com and we'll be right back. All right, thanks Kelly.